Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. We're going to continue our work with multiplication with fractions. Of course, before we get started, we got to get our, our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? <laughs> All right, let's get started right there. Seven fourths times eight thirds. We're actually going to do this problem three different ways. We're going to take our time in the first way, the second way we'll do it a little bit faster, and then in the third way we're going to kung fu it. You'll see what I mean. Okay, Charlie, seven fourths times eight thirds. How do you multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight across the top and straight across the bottom. That's right. So we have to take seven times eight and then four times three. Now, Charlie, what's seven times eight? It's six. Very nice there, Charlie. Now what's four times three? Twelve. That's right. Now this fraction has to be reduced. Now, Charlie, here's a question for you. What is the largest number that divides evenly into a 56 and a 12? And here's a hint, it's not two. Four. It would be four. Now watch what happens here, Charlie. We're gonna to divide top and bottom by four. Now this is a tough one. What's 56 divided by four, Charlie? 14. It is 14. Right? That's a tough one there. Now, how did you get 14? 56 divided by 2 is 28. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Oh, well, very nice. Now, what's 12 divided by 4? 3. Very nice there, Charlie. 14 over 3. Now, that was a tough way of doing that problem. We would like an easier way. So, let's do it that way now. Same problem here. Now, what we're going to do here, remember, multiplying straight across the top, straight across the bottom, we're actually going to reduce before we multiply. Now watch this. Again, some people call this cross-canceling. We're just reducing. Now, when you reduce, you have to choose a number from the numerator and a number from the denominator that are both divisible by the same number. In this case, we're using the 8 and the 4. They're both divisible by 4. So we're going to divide the 8 by a 4 and the 4 divided by 4. Now, watch this, Charlie. Remember, we have a 7 on top. Now, what's 8 divided by 4? 2. That's 2. Very nice. And what's 4 divided by 4? 1. That's the 1 and then the 3. And notice here, when we just multiply across the top and across the bottom, what's 7 times 2, Charlie? 14. 14 and 1 times 3 is 3. 3. Well, that was a little bit faster, but let's do it really fast, because I know that's what you want to do, right? Okay, Charlie, here we go. 7 fourths times 8 thirds. This is what your work should look like on the paper, Charlie. We say, all right. Notice, we have an 8 and a 4. They're both divisible by 4, right? And so, if we divide the 8 by 4, we're going to choose a number on the bottom, which is the 4 in this case. It doesn't have to be right below the 8. It's just got to be on the bottom. 4 over 4. Now, Charlie, what's 8 divided by 4? 2. And 4 divided by 4? 1. It's 1. That's right. And so, when you multiply just across the top and across the bottom, on top, you have the 7 times 2, which is what? 14. And on the bottom, you have 1 times 3, which is 3. And there you go. There it is. So, basically, what we're doing there is we're doing all these steps, basically, in one step. Right? And you've got to practice at this. So, let's do another one. Let's take 5 6 times 4 thirds, Charlie. Now, notice, we, we're going to try and reduce before we multiply. Now, you got to choose a number from the top and a number from the bottom to reduce, right? Now, notice we have a 4 there, and on the bottom we have a what? Six. A 6. Both a 4 and a 6 are divisible by what number, Charlie? 2. 2, that's right. So we're going to divide the 4 by 2 and also the 6 by the 2. Now, what's 4 divided by 2, Charlie? 2. That's right. And what's 6 divided by 2? 3. That's 3. And notice, we'll put our fraction bar, we multiply the numbers on top, we have 5 times 2, which is what? 10. And the bottom is just a 3 times a 3, and what's that? 9. So there you go. The answer is 10 ninths. Oh, what fun! Let's do some more. Now, here's three fractions all together. Don't get scared. Use the force. You'll see. Okay, Charlie. Now, look for two numbers that you can reduce. What would you say? 3 and 9. Okay, a 3 and a 9. Now, both those numbers are divisible by what? 3. A 3. So we'll divide that 3 by a 
3 and that 9 divided by 3. Now, 3 divided by 3 is what? 1. And 9 divided by 3 is? 3. three. There you go. Now, do you see any other numbers we can reduce? 6 and 4. The 6 and the 4, that's right. Those are both divisible by what? 2. 2's, okay, so we'll divide each of them by 2's. What's 6 divided by 2? 3. 4 divided by 2? Two? 2. It's 2. Now, you may notice, hey, there's different ways of doing this problem. Okay. You can choose, we could have reduced the 6 and the 4 when we started this, but Charlie chose, I'm sorry, we could have reduced the 6 and the 9 first, right? Charlie, your first choice was a 3 and a 9, but we could also use the 6 and the 9. doesn't matter. We're just taking this approach, and again, whatever comes to mind when you're doing these is going to, uh, going to outline your approach. So people will approach these problems differently, but we'll all end up at the same answer. So you've got to practice. Now, Charlie, notice, what do we have on top? 11 times 1 times 3. That's right. And the bottom, what do we have? 3 times 2 times 5. Okay. Now, can we reduce anything here? The 3's. Yes, the 3 and the 3's, you say, cancel. But what you're really saying is, a, both a 3 and a 3 are both divisible by 3, right? And 3 divided by 3 is a what? 1. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So basically, when you're canceling, you're just making them 1's, right? Now, what's left on top, Charlie? What's 11 times 1 times 1? 11. Okay, and the bottom, what's 1 times 2 times 5? 10. And there you go, 11 tenths. Not bad. All right, Charlie, here we go. Here's another one here. 21 over 32 times 16 over